Good evening. Uh, I'm in, in Brussels today uh, in, order to in order to prepare the uh, European Council at the 23rd of October. I had a meeting this morning uh, in Luxembourg with Commissioner Oli Rehn, then a, uh, a meeting with uh, the President of the European Council, uh, Hermann van Rompuy, and then uh, I had a uh, meeting with uh, my good friend uh, George Papandreou. We were discussing all the relevant um, issues, noting en passant, uh, with uh, great um, satisfaction that the Slovakian Parliament has voted uh, in favour of the ERSF uh, this uh, afternoon, which paves the way to further steps uh, uh, to be uh, taken. I made it uh, perfectly clear in all the meetings I had today, and mainly with uh, the Greek Prime Minister, that um, all those who are speculating that uh, Greece uh, could be obliged uh, to uh, to leave the euro area uh, are misled in their judgment. This will not happen as it will not happen that we will have to face a Greek uh, default. Everything will be done in order to to maintain the uh, financial stability of the euro area will be uh, helpful as far as we can to, to Greece. We'll be given the Troika report uh, by mid uh, next uh, week and on the basis of uh, the compliance report and of the debt sustainability report we will take under exam during a spe special meeting of the Eurogroup all these uh, elements in order to prepare the European Council of the 23rd in the best way possible. I don't know all the elements of content of the, the reports uh, will be given by the Troika, but I'm uh, really uh, optimistic that uh, uh, we'll decide uh, uh, to, uh, to have the sixth tranche uh, being uh, launched. Uh, thank you, Jean-Claude. Uh, as you said, this is a, a time when we are, um, um, have uh, very important challenges ahead of us, and uh, I would also like to uh, salute the decision of the uh, Slovak Parliament. Uh, it shows that even though in uh, very difficult decisions and very complex decisions, we have the will, in the end, to make the necessary decisions to move forward. Uh, amongst them, of course, are the decisions we are making in Greece. Uh, we are committed to make the major changes uh, in, uh, in our country because we have great potential, although this potential has been in the past mismanaged. But that's why the Greek people want these changes, so that we go to a viable, uh, uh, sustainable economy, uh, one that's competitive, one that is also just and transparent. And I had a very good discussion with uh, Jean-Claude about the uh, uh, preparations and the necessary uh, work needed for the next few days so that we do have a successful meeting on the 23rd of October. Uh, this is, I think, uh, our challenge, but it is also, as, as you have said, one I think we can meet uh, in the best of ways. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. How much do you think we're going to need? Is the new plan going to be bigger than 159? I, I don't want to... Uh to, to speculate around uh, these uh, kind of questions. All these uh, things will be dealt with in the course of uh, the European uh, Council. It's not mainly about figures, it's mainly about uh, uh, content. We need a straightforward plan and uh, I'm optimistic that uh, we'll be able to, to, to decide uh, on a plan like that. But if we need more than 21% uh, PSI, then that's, 20, that's more than the 50 PSI. We are discussing these things.